There's nothing much to add there. I mean, as, 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 as so, I mean, honestly, it's a story, and, and, and for everybody working on the film, I, I felt that people were saying, you know, when you get a script like this, and when you get to tell a story like this, you just feel, uh, you feel blessed, you feel very lucky to be able to, to do it in your handling. So it's just no heart. So thank you. Uh, next, just shout it out. Oh, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what can you tell us about the young boy, the, the actor playing the son, how you cast him, how he came? I could tell you a lot about every actor in the film, apart from him. He doesn't have a very long history of acting. He's a young guy, 15. Uh, he, his family, they're all gifted guys, so young, young guys who act. His brothers appear on TV and, and movies. I think this was his first movie. Um, he did a very, very nice job. Uh, I. I, I, there's nothing much to tell. I think he's very much like his character in real life, too. If you're not fast, you're not, not going to catch him. <laughs> there was fun to work with him, and to see him together with this veteran actor, Heikin Osak, who plays the lead, 
who is a guy who's done like theater for 50 years, mm -hmm. and, and now that he's retired and more busy than ever, I was also lucky to, <laughs> to, to, to catch up with him. I worked with him before in a film that you mentioned called Letters to Father Jacob. And, and if I would mention my favorite actor from Finland, I would say he's for me like the Henry Fonda of, of Finnish film and theater. I, I adore him, so I, was, I hope we'll make another feature 10 years from now. <laughs> it, it is a great performance. Uh, next. I just wanted to say it's probably one of the I've seen so my life and it's it's one of the best films I've ever seen. Oh boy. Oh, wow. oh boy, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very you. much. Um yes, in the middle there. The music the music is so The lady was very impressed with the music, uh, and as a musician as well. So I should say something about that. Yeah. I could go on for a now, but I won't. Um, just in short, the composer is called Matti Bue. He's a Swedish composer who composed music to, if you know, a Swedish master called Jan Troel, who did um, uh, big Swedish epic films in the 70s, and he, he did a film some years ago called Everlasting Moments, which is a beautiful film. Beautiful music. Years. Yeah, yeah, it's a wonderful film. And he also made music to Pernilla August's uh, feature, latest feature. I wanted to work with him for so many years, and I've just, you know, waited and waited. I'm, I'm so lucky that I had a chance to, to work with him now. Uh, uh, in short, for me, music and film is, is very much, I mean, film for me is, apart from writing, it's about the actor's face, and it's about music telling the story. I, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely impressed myself. I can say this because I didn't write it. <laughs> uh, yeah, right there in the middle. No. Did you ever have to do any rewrites in the in the process of shooting, or did you stick to the original script? We, we did stick. Out. As I said, the script was so clear and well defined uh, that we didn't need to, to know. Oh, how can we work with this? I mean, what happens usually is the actors offer something that you want to take along. Naturally enough, of course, the location might not look the same as Anna has imagined. But apart from that, I mean, the only way we, we, we re-edited in the cutting room was things where I hadn't achieved the level of, you know, of, of uh, brilliance that was in Anna's script. So I, I tried to clean that away in order for, you know, for the film to look better than it actually is. But, uh, but yeah, uh, no, we didn't really do change. Apart from I like to, of course, let actors, I mean, there are, there are times when you have to write things out, spell things out when you write a script, but then the actors might say, do I need to say this because I can show it? And of course, that's always a better way to go about it. And yeah, right there. Um, the resistance fighting, the overtones, the very nuance. Yes. Um, I think it's a question for Anna. How much did you struggle with, think about the religious content to make it as you had to make it, it's, it's nuanced? If you, uh, and if you could talk a bit about the religious content and the religious subtext to the and how nuanced it is in, in the film? Um, I think the, the, the mere fact that it's a, it's a face of Christ kind of like, like um, um, generated that motif and it, and it got deeper and deeper as I wrote. It's uh, very often is when a writer writes, when I write this from what me happens that I can't, I can plan it beforehand to, setting, to, to a certain extent. But then uh, the motives and the, and the themes take over, kind of, like they say that, that it starts, the, the story kind of starts to write itself. That's what happens. And um, but particularly with this one, um, the, the question about like the, uh, the, the business signature, that was something that came along uh, actually quite late in the writing process. There's something all the time that I was kind of thinking missing, and we talked about that to you, or yeah. as well. And I felt that there's some, there's like one layer of, of like, we should go one layer down, even deeper, 
and the missing signature motif, then uh, I realized at the very, very end that this is actually what I am looking for, the, and the, 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 the connection with the icons and the idea of the icon being um, showing the, it's not about the individual anymore, and it's not about, it's about your humility, taking that, your lot in life. And which is with which all of it kind of finds. That's that's his way of being kind of reborn, rather than thinking I want to make it out, become that like like uh, finding the great painting and and making uh, it's a very individual act. Like I am, you know, I, I am the great leader, art leader, but rather as coming to this being as I was saying before, uh, like one loop in the chain of human, you know, human life of human of that love kind of in the family. That's and. Um, then I realized also, which is interesting, uh, we in Finland we we are we're Lutherans, we we are um, uh, like um, Lutherans, yeah, we're yeah. Protestant, yeah, yeah, yeah. Protestants. Protestant, yeah. And uh, then I realized that what also kind of went in there. This is also kind of subconscious, probably, is that Lutherans believe that you cannot, um, that none of your own deeds can kind of save you. It's like no matter how how good, like the only way you can be saved is through through mercy. So also that's what he's kind of doing, like trying to, to achieve something all the time, trying to like make it happen, rather than kind of like just like humbly, you know, taking the grace. Receiving. Receiving yeah. the grace, rather than just trying and trying and trying. And that's kind of interesting, because that's also, I didn't plan it. It just kind of, in the process, that's what sometimes happens, just get these motives and get these closures that you're not really consciously doing. And I believe that something, what happens there is you're, that all those, all those stories and all those movies and everything, all those that I've been in for the last 50, I don't know, 50 years reading, <laughs> they, they become kind of part of I, I, my subconscious mind and then just take it from there in the writing process. So it's part of, partially you, you, you plan it, but partially it comes like, you kind of, it, it, it rises from your subconscious. That's, I don't know if this answers the question at all. It's, it's a very good question. And also sometimes I'm asked like, like, and these are the kind of things I can't give you Anna notes and say write this and do that. We, we can discuss it, but it has to be as you said in your subconscious while you write it comes and it came very late. It came very late, yeah, yeah. I think we I think we actually do have to wrap it up now. I'm afraid, but it's always good to end mm -hmm. on grace. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so thank you guys for coming. Thank you.